Hey guys, it's me, and I'm playing this game. So, welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Uh, I'm going to be getting back into Let's Playing, but uh, what we're going to do in this Let's Play is I'm going to try to make things a little uh, less boring to watch. And by that I mean I'm going to cut out a lot of the boring parts so that you guys don't have to watch me traveling and stuff and just get down to like the secrets and the the um, like fighting and stuff so I mean you all know what happens in a link to the past some evil has been taken over or evil has taken over the great wizard of Ghanim and he's locked up in his um, his uh, castle tower threatening everything you know that sort of thing I'm not really in-depth with games but I will try to get as many as many secrets Heart pieces and all of that that I can get. Uh, my name, my character's name is Moosey because, as you see by my intro screen, I am riding a moose, and I don't have a name for him, just Moosey. So let's go. Help me! Oh wait, this is this is Zelda, not help me. I'm Zelda, but help me, please help me. I am a prisoner in the dungeon of the castle. My name is Zelda. The wizard Aganim has done something to the other missing girls. Now only I remain. Agonim has seized control of the castle and is now trying to open the seven wise men's seal. I am in the dungeon of the castle. Please help me. Moosey, I'm going out for a while. I'll be back by morning. Don't leave the house. Okay. Alright, so. Let's see. As you can see, I can lift these pots and under them are hearts, which I really don't need. But they're really there just to tell you this is what you have to do. This is what you need for life, right? So, you can lift these as well, get any rupees that you need. I'm not really going to do anything there. Uh, okay. There's guards blocking there. The only way you can go is to the castle up this way. So, let's go. There really aren't any secrets along here. This is really just like a tutorial level, I guess. Introduction level. One thing that I found cool was... These say Fufu. Which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's about it there. <laughs> that's the only secret along this area. Uh, let's see. So, to get down to the cellar, you have to open up that and fall down the hole. I used to play this game a lot when I was younger. Um, okay, so yeah, just talk to this guy, he gives you the sword, he gives you the, uh, basically what you can do with the sword, like a tutorial. You just hold in B, spin around, spin a spin a jamma. Okay. So, basically our first enemy, pretty easy, they take two hits to kill, and they just charge after you. Very short range, not as, not as big of a range as, uh, okay, as the, uh, bigger enemies. So you just lift those pots up and you get... Some magic power, which you use, you use on your lamp. Which you can do that. Uh, you also get five rupees, which are useful later in the game whenever you can buy things. Let's go. So now you can just cut the grass. There isn't really anything along here. That's really noteworthy. I mean, you can get some rupees in the grass, but it's not really worth the time that it takes. So as you can see, these enemies charge at you, and they do have a defense. So yeah, just kill them by hitting their um, backside or their exposed side. And these guys, like I said earlier, are pretty darn easy. And sometimes they drop items. There's nothing really over on the left side, so let's just head into the castle. And... The way we can fight these guys easy is not by doing that. Let's just head over this room. There's nothing up there, just the throne, which we'll see later on in the game. We're not going to go up the stairs, because that's the wrong way. We're going to go up here and fight these guys like men. Like men! <laughs> Too easy. Let's pick these up. No no magic lamps. So that's fine, I guess. We're going to head straight downstairs. Pretty easy. Now this guy is guarding this chest, which has a map in it. Hello, sir. You want to fight me? These guys take three hits, and he has a key. 
So let's get the map. So to see the map, we just have to press X. And, uh, yeah. Pretty basic. You know, normal Legend of Zelda stuff. Let's go through this door, which we can unlock with our key. Yay! Okay, so the thing about this part is... BOOM! Ha <laughs> ha! You just shoot, or kick them off the ledge. And these, these are here because they want you to hit them with the pots, but I messed up! See, like that. Ooh. <laughs> I'm bad. But yeah, you can just hit them off the edge. That's the easier way to kill them. Doesn't really matter, though. It's not really necessary. Yeah. Although it is easier to do than hitting them three times. You know. <laughs> so let's head up here. Ow. There really is no reason to go up there yet unless until we head out of the dungeon. Dungeon. Let's head over here. Kill this guy, he drops a key. No, no, he doesn't drop the key. The guy over here drops the key. We locked him in the corner, and here we get our boomerang. Which I could have gotten before I killed that guy, but who cares. Boomerang can be used to stun enemies, as well as get items farther away. Uh, okay, so here we go down to the dungeon. To get our Princess Zelda. I was gonna say Princess Peach, but this is not Mario. <laughs> it's not Mario. Okay, so you'll see here, pressing Y, we use our item, and... We encounter what... What is like a first boss, I guess? It's Mace Knight? I mean, it's not really... What I'd consider first boss material. It's just... He's harder than normal enemies. Hi. And he gives you the big key, which you'll find unlocks the big chest and the boss door in later levels. Hi, Zelda. So it just tells us that the wizard is very powerful and we can't beat him right now. And we need to get out of the out of the castle. And she has a secret door in the throne room that we can go down to the sewers and through the sanctuary. So let's head on out and protect Zelda. Which I think will be very easy. She doesn't get hurt, so... So that's fine. It's not like any other game's escort missions where you have to protect them so that they won't die. I hate those missions so much, they are the worst. Because, you know, AI can be stupid. Like, really, really stupid. And I don't lie that. So yeah, pretty easy getting out of the dungeon. Everybody's got like, um... Got like a radar around their face, and they can only see a certain, like, area. Yeah, it's pretty good. Nothing under there. We, uh, we need magic lamps. To power the uh, to power the actual lamp for the sewers. Joe. So the enemies can't climb the stairs, which is also good. Or else I'm a screwed. I'm a screwed. Okay, so this door goes to the top of the castle, which is really the long way around. Honestly, it is the. It is a very long way, and I should not have taken this way. I just- I could have gone back the normal way. Don't matter. But let's just go up to the throne room, not fight any enemies, because that's a waste of time. You don't get any experience or anything in a Zelda game. So, we don't need it. We don't need to fight these guys either. 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 And let's just go through here. Okay. With the help of Zelda, the burly princess, we get this moved here. Alright. Let's go. My lamp is now on. This place is... is really annoying for me. Because I can't see anything. Once you get the lamps lit, though, it does become a lot easier. 
But you do have to light these first lamps in order to get the key for this room, I do believe. No, it's the key for the next room. Okay. I am still a little rusty with this game. I haven't played this in so long. And snakes take two hits, and they are really annoying. Let's just... Okay, this is really, really annoying. I'm out of there. I can't fight those guys. They just... They're so fast. They're so fast. Okay. Okay, the, the beeping from Zelda's. Really? The most annoying thing in any Zelda game. I need to find a heart ASAP. Or else I'm gonna start crying because of this beeping. Okay, so now we're in the sewer. This is... This is a very easy spot. But we can get money. A lot of money here. Wow, he just runs in a circle? Okay. Okay. Come on, sir. Okay, there's the five. Five rupee. Okay, maybe it's the next one that I get a lot of. There we go, 20 rupees. We're gonna need these to buy a bottle. Give me a heart. I don't want to hear this anymore. Ooh. See, it's kind of annoying. The, ooh. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, now we can see. And get all this money. Oh my goodness, the beeping. Make it stop. There we go. Beeping has stopped. Although I would feel more safe with more hearts. Anyway, let's just not waste time here. And just go to the next level. Okay, that was a close one. That's all I need for that level. That was pretty fast, anyway. Okay, this should be the last room. Yes. Now, if I had bombs or a hammer, okay, it's back. It's freaking back. I would be able to open that. Uh, I do have to remember that for later on whenever I do get bombs, which is going to be relatively soon because I know where they are in the Kakariko village. And I'm not. Ju I'm just not going to waste time here. And here we are back at the sanctuary. Oh, okay, the room before the sanctuary, which is full of mice, which is gross. Uh-oh. Yeah-oh. Yeah-okay. Can't be messing around. This is pro level. Okay, well, here we are in the sanctuary. No, we're not in the sanctuary yet. That's the sanctuary door. Okay, this is the lever you have to pull. The other one just spawns an enemy that is kind of annoying to fight. Okay, here we go. We're at the sanctuary. So, we're safe. This guy's gonna keep the princess safe, and he tells us on our first quest that we must go to, which is in Kakariko Village. So, we have to... We also have to find the Master Sword which the elder will tell us about. Let's get this chest so that we can get a free heart and just get out of here. So, that is gonna be the end of the first episode of Let's Play A Link to the Past. If you guys did like this video, be sure to hit the like button, it does help me out a lot. And if you wanna watch daily Let's Play videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel as well. They will be out every day, twice a day, I do believe. So, yeah, look forward to it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye!